trying to do intros but welcome welcome back to my channel y'all and happy valentine's day y'all will not be seeing this video on valentine's day but i'm gonna just say it anyway y'all and if your boyfriend didn't get you none leave him no it's playing <laughs> but, uh, so y'all um uh, y'all see my little look it's kind of whatever i just did this for work so i'm simple oh y'all and look at this shirt i got from target so cute i really want to either chloe or yasmin or something because those are the ones i used to play with but anyways um today y'all i've never done this type of video but but i'm gonna be telling y'all about my full hygiene routine my hair my skin and body so yeah i'm gonna be telling y'all the current products that i'm using and then i'm gonna be telling y'all about some of my favorites that i'm not currently using right now so so we're gonna go ahead and get started with hair care y'all and disclaimer if you've been keeping up with my hair journey like if you're not a new subscriber or nothing y'all know my hair is kind of damaged and it's not from the color honestly like now that i'm thinking about well i haven't really been thought about this but it's really not from the color it was from the lack of <sighs> the lack of moisture i feel like in a good routine is how my hair got damaged it's just like really dry and it gets tangled real bad like real real bad y'all like bad <laughs> anyways but y'all the products that i got i really do like them and i know they would just work a million times better if my hair wasn't damaged but i mean look at it y'all the hair still comes out good it just takes me a super long time to detangle now but um y'all can watch my other videos if y'all want to hear all the other myths about it so i'm gonna just go in order of how i do my hair care routine so the shampoo that i'm using right now y'all is the carol's blueberry bliss this stuff y'all they need to bottle it up bottle they need to bottle this up into a perfume because i want to smell like this every day like i want to smell like this this stuff smells so good I've used like a leave-in conditioner or a hair milk or something like that for now. Okay, y'all, my sister ended up calling me, so I don't really know where I left off, but I know I was talking about this shampoo, y'all, but it's so moisturizing and it smells good and that's just all it needs to be. It got my hair clean and yeah, I really like it, y'all. Um, most of the time with my shampoos, I don't use anything consistently. Like... I pretty much just change it up um yeah but this i definitely would be buying this again because i really like this this was probably like 12 dollars i think but yeah let me put this cream again so yeah y'all um next thing we got is deep conditioner this honestly moist y'all i've been using this for years like this works so good um it just it got a lot of slip to it so and you know that's what i be needing but like i said now y'all since my hair is so dry and damaged and it just being matted nothing really is working <laughs> but it still moisturizes my hair it don't help with like the detangling a whole lot no more because of yeah but i still recommend buying this y'all it worked good it's just my hair okay now when i want to use something a little more expensive um this is empty but i love this y'all this will have your whole entire room maybe two or three smell like mint y'all if you don't like mint then you probably don't want to get this but it works so good y'all this got a lot of slip to it as well but with this y'all if you got a lot of hair i mm, i probably will opt for something else like if you don't want to spend the money if you got the money to spend then okay cool because this is like i want to say this is like 15 dollars, y'all and i get like one and a half uses out of this so it's not a long lasting product but i like it so i'm gonna keep buying it <laughs> um the next one y'all i just recently tried this like a month ago but this is the oh i'm not even telling y'all the names i'm just showing y'all 
but this is the miel babasu and mint deep conditioner yeah this one is the rosemary mint strengthening hair mask i got this because i thought it was gonna help with the damage and stuff like that y'all but it didn't help <laughs> But this is also really good. This is also really moisturizing. Let me smell it. This one smells like mint too. I think it's, oh yeah, rosemary mint. Yeah. This one is way less subtle than this one though. This one is really strong. For leave-in conditioners, y'all. Um, I used this a while ago. This is also empty. And this is something that I will buy again. This is the, I'm trying to let y'all see it. Not Your Mother's Naturals Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon. <laughs> and it says it repairs and protects your hair. And yeah, it's just so moisturizing. Y'all like leave-in conditioners, like the spray ones. I wouldn't recommend just using it and like they'd be the only product you use to moisturize your hair. I don't know. But I don't know everybody heard different but y'all but if you want to spray leave in conditioner this one is really good probably like seven or eight dollars yeah this next leave in conditioner i got y'all i just tried this for the first time when i just did this <sighs> y'all as soon as i put it on the first section my mouth dropped this stuff right here this me l pomegranate and honey leave in conditioner y'all if you got I mean, you could probably use this rubber kind of hair you got, but if you got like type three, type four hair, y'all, definitely try this, y'all. It just, and if you got low porosity hair, let me add that in too, because I got low porosity hair. But as soon as I put it in my hair, y'all, it just like melted into my strands. I was just like, y'all, this is the best leave-in conditioner I've ever used. Like, I highly recommend this. And the reason why I got this one over the one like the curls one because i think i was about to get that one but the reason that i got this one y'all is because it's like kind of clear kind of reminds me of like a face serum like it's a little white but um y'all know with natural hair products when you get to layer and stuff sometimes it can not mix well so i wanted something that was you know not gonna be like too white and Y'all know if you if you you y'all know what I'm talking about. I didn't want to have a bad combination and then have like those white flakes and stuff in my hair. So yeah. Normally that happens when you use a gel, but whatever. Y'all need to go pick that up. Um the next thing that I use, y'all, is this Lottie Body Mousse. This is what I use for my perm rod sets and my fixer rod sets. So so these two products are the only thing that I used on my hair this time around. And my hair is so soft, y'all. I gotta sneeze. My hair is so soft and so moisturized, y'all. Like, yeah. Another product that I use for like twist out, braid outs, bantu knots, and stuff like that is the um Camille Rose Amin J Twisting Butter. I'm gonna put a picture of it on the screen because I don't have it right now. But that one is really moisturizing and it smells like cake, y'all. Like, I really like it. Yeah, but that's it for the hair products, y'all. Um, I don't really have a favorite hair oil. I'm gonna try the Wild Growth Oil because my sister recommended it. But yeah, I use the Africa's Best Herbal Oil. I put a picture of that too. But mm, um, I don't really like. I don't really feel like it's doing anything. But I don't know, y'all. I just use it. <laughs> I just use it because it's what I got. So, now we're going to move on to skincare. Okay, y'all. So, my skincare routine is very simple. Um, Right now, I'm using the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. This big bottle is probably like $10 or $11. And I'm going to keep using it until it runs out. I switch out my face washes just how I do my shampoo. Um, one thing I do want to say about my skin, though, y'all, I have never just had problems with my skin. I've never just had acne-prone skin or nothing like that. Like, I've gotten pimples and blackhead, blackheads and stuff like that here and there. But I don't just have acne-prone skin. So, if you're trying to find products to help 
I mean, these could help you, but do not take this as advice to like clear your skin because my skin was never unclear. <laughs> I don't know the word to say, but my skin was never unclear to begin with. You know what I mean? But yeah, y'all, this do the job and I mean, it just clean my face. I don't really know what else to say. It's, I got the one for combination to oily skin. I don't know why I got that. My face not oily. But, I mean, it's kind of combination. But, anyways, y'all. Mm -hmm, I like it. Um, <laughs> Another two face washes that I've used before that I really like was the First Aid Beauty. I'm going to try to find it and put a picture of it. And I also used the, what's it, the Philosophy. Yeah, I think it was the Philosophy brand philosophy brand i'm gonna put that on the screen too i like both of those face washes so yeah y'all all three of those face washes work really good and yeah from moisturizer right now i've been using this like i said y'all i pretty much use my products until they gone like i really don't encounter a lot of products that react bad to my skin or hair or nothing like that so yeah i just don't got sensitive skin and hair and yeah but this is the um first aid beauty ultra repair cream this is really like a multi-use product you can use this like on your body you can use it if you have eczema and stuff like that um but yeah i don't got none of that i just use it as you know moisturizer for my face um it says it has no parabens no harsh chemicals or colorants so yeah i got this because like doing last i think last winter dang i've had this for a year yeah I, this lasts a long time y'all this is a big jar and i be moisturizing my face day and night so if you want something that's gonna last long you can definitely get this i don't know how much this costs y'all i bought this off from macari so i kind of got it for a discounted price but i really like it i think the moisturizer that i was using before that was from o Henriksen. I'm going to try to find a picture, y'all, but I used it so long ago, I really don't remember the name of it. I just remember it was in a blue jar, but that one worked really good, and it was more like a, kind of like a serum type of moisturizer. So, another thing that I don't have right now that I want to mention is the Rose Tonic Toner from Pixi. Y'all, Jackie Ina mentioned it in one of her videos, and I used that stuff, and it just worked so good. Like, my skin really like Rose, and Rose... Um, rose helps with like evening your skin tone, and I forgot what else, y'all. I'm gonna put the benefits on the screen, but their rose tonic toner is so good, y'all. And I was also using a rose hip oil on my face, but I stopped using that once I ran out, too. <laughs> and I just honestly, like, currently, I've just been using moisturizer. The next product that I got, I just started incorporating this into my skincare routine. And it is this vitamin C. Yeah. It's this vitamin C serum from Advanced Clinicals. I've only used it twice, but so far, so good. I only use it at the nighttime. I don't use it in the day. I don't know why my voice be going out, y'all. <laughs> but I only use this at the nighttime. I don't use it in the day. Um, It just say it... It helps with dark spots, uneven skin tone, expression lines. Yeah. Um, it also says y'all like if you use this to use sunscreen, that's why I only use it at the night because I don't get no sunscreen. And I know a lot of people be saying that like sunscreens leave white cats on, you know, black people. So I need to try to find one that's gonna be like you know not leave my face looking ashy and stuff like that so yeah but that's why i only use this at the night but honestly i probably would keep using it at the night honestly i i feel like i feel like i don't need to use it twice a day but yeah i got this from marshall's y'all this was 5.99 i want to tell y'all y'all probably already know but for the people who don't know go to tj maxx marshall's ross burlington's to find hair care and skincare products. I mean, y'all. They have so many things. Like, they literally, this brand I just showed y'all, First Aid Beauty, they have this brand in there. They have, like, other, like, high-end products in there. 
for way cheaper than what you would find them in like up to a Sephora. So definitely check them stores out, y'all, to see if they got some of your favorite projects or something that you want to try before you go to the store. Um, but that's it for my skincare routine. For my lips, y'all, I just be using Carmax and I just got this rose lip oil this got avocado oil and hyaluronic acid in it and y'all i really like this stuff this was like two dollars or three dollars i also got this out of marshall's and it's just hmm, i just like it it lasts a long time and it's like it's thick but it's not too thick to where it feels like it's just sitting on your lips you know what i mean this Next product I'm going to show y'all, it's not a skincare product, but I use it during my skincare routine. I just got these off of Amazon. And it's these little cuffs, y'all. So when you're washing your face, the water don't drip down your arm. I hate that. I do not like that, y'all. I don't like that stuff dripping all down my arm. And, like, if you got your, your arm like this and you're washing your face, sometimes it'll drip down. Then it end up all in your... I don't like all that, y'all. <laughs> When I originally seen those, um, it wasn't on Amazon. It's actually a girl who I follow on Instagram. I'm going to leave her Instagram right here because, honestly, I don't know if she's, like, the creator of those, but she was the first person I seen who sold them. But hers was just more expensive. Like, I'm sorry about it, but <laughs> hers was just more expensive. So I got on Amazon and got a four-pack. I gave the green ones to my sister, but they have other colors if y'all want some yeah i think that's it for my skincare routine oh no wait sometimes too y'all i'd be using rose water um this is from trader joe's this actually is just plain water that i be using for my to do my makeup but yeah this is how it look y'all and it helps with just moisturizing your face and stuff like that it say toner but i don't use it as a toner i just be spraying it and leaving it on well, it, yeah, it's just the same thing. I don't know why I feel like with toners, you need to, like, rub it in. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. But I like using this as well. Um, And sometimes I be getting their sheet masks. Like, their face sheet masks that they sell in Trader Joe's, too. And, like, the little, um... It kind of look like a mint green kind of color. It's the only mask they sell in there, I think. At least where I live at. But um, the last thing that I be using, y'all, is this Aztec Indian Healing Clay. This mixed with apple cider vinegar, y'all. Y'all. Whenever I do get pimples or, you know, blackheads or anything like that, and I use this mask, it significantly, y'all, significantly. <laughs> Can I talk? It significantly reduces the size of whatever pimple or whatever you got on your face y'all i ain't gonna lie i be popping my eyes i do but like i said y'all like the rose hip oil it really worked for clearing up those dark spots and like i just told y'all vitamin c is supposed to help with it too right now i don't have any but yeah y'all i'm gonna put the benefits on the side because i don't remember all this stuff off the top of my head y'all i just know this stuff is good and it be working so yeah <laughs> i also used the ambi fade cream before but um i haven't used it in a in a while if you want something more natural because i think that has like chemicals and stuff in it then you can literally just use vitamin c and like rose hip oil all this stuff that's a little bit more natural well i don't know y'all let me not say this stuff natural because yeah yeah let me not lie because i'm looking at the ingredients yeah <laughs> but anyways we gonna move on to um body care now <sighs> dang on spam calls but y'all my body care that's pretty simple too um i just use the dove um like sensitive skin body wash or um the dr brenda's um the peppermint kind but i use other stuff too i use like the body washes from native the body wash from um i think it's just called simple the brand is it called simple i think it's the same brand as this micellar water 
y'all this mercy water is okay but the garnier is my favorite but um yeah i ain't think about my body wash y'all but as long as yeah like i don't know y'all like i said my body and stuff like that isn't just sensitive to stuff so um a lot of stuff really don't bother me when it comes to that so but if stuff like that with fragrance bothers you just read your ingredient list um when you're looking at ingredients on products whatever is first is what's in the product the most so once you keep getting further down the list this was in the product the least so if fragrances and stuff like that breaks you out or you know throws off your ph balance and stuff you know down there um just read the labels y'all because you can still use stuff that has scents and fragrance if you want to but just try to get products that have it just a little bit okay so yeah body washes i just be using whatever y'all and lotions lotions i like the gold bun no i got that actually this gold bun um radiance renewal i've used this for a while y'all this is really good it got um coconut oil coconut butter i mean cocoa butter <laughs> african shea butter and you yeah, always say radiance renewal cream oil i never knew it said that mm. but yeah y'all this is probably like eight dollars i really like this and then i just picked this up over the weekend yeah what's that tuesday y'all i keep having interruptions my phone just ran out of space but i just picked this up not too long ago like literally over the weekend um this is the eos i just want to see what the hype was about y'all honestly i just want to see what the hype was about it's the 24 hour moisture body lotion i got the fresh and cozy scent y'all it smells so good i um uh, smelled the other scents and they smell good too i don't like coconut oil so i was like mm, that coconut oil like might stink but like i said y'all this is just my personal preference because i don't like coconut but it actually smelled good so i was like oh like okay but this y'all mm, i love it i feel like the scent doesn't just like linger all day but um it definitely smells good for a while when you first put it on and it says it got seven oils and butters in here so yeah um the first time i used it i was like mm, it just kind of feel like regular lotion like i don't i don't know like i feel like a lot of stuff don't just be like wow like even this like go bun i just feel like it moisturized me and you know that's it <laughs> like i don't know but um for some reason when i used it again last night it just felt so so good y'all and my skin was like a little bit shiny like not a lot but you know it had like a little glisten to it so i was like okay i'm not gonna lie y'all i don't be using lotion every day like i'm probably gonna be using this every day just because <laughs> y'all i'm one of them people who get so on packaging it's just so cute like it makes me want to use it every day like <laughs> but like if nobody's seeing my skin, y'all, like, it's winter time, I do be like, child, what well, I'm putting lotion on for? <laughs> and when I tell my sister, she was just like, girl, it's winter. That's when you really should be putting on lotion. But, yeah, my mind works the opposite way. I be like, it's winter, so no one's going to see. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a trip. But, um yeah I, I really don't care but be yeah, i like this also another lotion that i used like during the summertime I, I think yeah during the summertime was the nivea breathable lotion i really like that um it moisturizes your skin but it's lightweight so it don't feel so you know heavy on the skin to where it's like you sweat and y'all know how to be with a summertime and lotion and yeah a mess but this also says that it's um lightweight and absorbs fast and it really does absorb fast and it is kind of lightweight but still moisturizing so this probably would be good to use all year round um ah, i guess i'll show y'all my deodorant i really i'm not gonna say i dislike this one but it's not my favorite but 
the Dove zero percent aluminum aluminum deodorant. That's my favorite. It also has that like serumy type of feel to it because I feel like let me go ahead and show y'all this before I keep talking. It's the apple and white tea. It smells good. But um, I don't know if this happens to y'all, but like for me, if I go and shave my armpits or whatever, or you know, use the wax strips from Nair or something like that, um, you know, you're not supposed to put on deodorant like 24 hours after like shaving or waxing and stuff like that. But even after the 24 hour mark, if I put this deodorant on, I feel like it would well, not feel like it do gets into my pores and then it's just like. <laughs> I feel like this is TMI low key. But like if you like squeeze your armpit, that stuff that comes out, it's just like ew. I don't like that, y'all. So I don't like using solid deodorant like this. Let me just show y'all what I'm talking about. Like solid deodorant like that. I really don't like using it anymore. So I don't even know why I got this. I don't I don't remember what happened. I think I was on Target app and maybe they didn't have what I was looking for or something. I don't know. But I like Dove deodorant, y'all. I don't like all that other cheap stuff like that secret and that swab and stuff like that that I used back when I was like in middle school, high school. I don't like those. Like, they don't do the job. But Dove deodorant, it does the job. Oh, for body scrubs, y'all, I make my own at home. I just mix some brown sugar with some oils like vitamin e oil jojoba oil or something like that and you know i just use it i'm probably gonna end up buying one but you know i like making them homemade too because yeah why not it, it's cheaper y'all it lasts longer like you buy the oil you buy the sugar the bag of sugar is like three dollars so from trader joe's so buy the sugar buy the oil y'all and you can just keep on mixing it I've been using it on my lips too. I almost forgot to tell y'all about that. I mix the brown sugar, some vitamin E oil, or jojoba oil. And um, recently, when I just made it, my sister told me to add Vaseline in it and honey. And oh my God, that was a game changer. Especially like the honey. I feel like you can leave the Vaseline out if you want to. But honey is really good for moisturizing. I used to use it on my face too. To do um face masks sometimes so yeah and for my sense y'all it's a place called seeds fragrances i don't know if they have like locations in different states and stuff but they do have a website they have like um what they call them dupes of like name brand perfumes and stuff like that so this is the strawberry pound cake y'all know bath and body works i just love the strawberry um, I smell like strawberry shortcake. I love the strawberry pound cake, y'all. Like, it smells so good. But my sister, I think she said, like, these are, like, more natural. I think it's, like, oils or something in here. I don't know what she said, y'all. But I'm going to put the website on the screen, though, like, if y'all want to check it out. Because I, I think they do ship. And then... I got these little body drops. I put these on at the nighttime and in the morning. And this one just smells so good. It's called Morocco. I don't know if this is a dupe for anything. Probably so. But. Yeah, y'all. Oh, it's so cute too, y'all. And this was only $3, y'all. Like, it's so cute. I just put a little drop, put a little drop. And I just rub it in. And, ugh. This smells so good. This one, though, I forget the ounces on here, but this one was, I think, $22. But they sell smaller sizes for, like, $14, $15. So, yeah. Really, I think this is more expensive than Bath & Body Works. But, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, I think this on. Yeah, y'all. I think this on. All the body care, skincare stuff that I use. Um. <laughs> so, y'all, if y'all use any of these products, let me know down below if y'all try anything out and y'all like it. 
Come back and let me know. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Come back and let me know. <laughs> but y'all, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe if y'all like the content over here. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.